Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So in our last video, we have seen how to send the post vectors, and we have discussed about the respective status codes. I mean the response code, what is coming. So you will get two hundred, you will get two not four, you will get two not two also. Okay, most of the time you will be getting two hundred okay, or two not two not four. Okay, so now in the put, what we are doing? So in the put is for update. Right. So the put in the sense, what what is the statement of the put is? You can you can update and you can replace. Okay, which means so for example earlier I have a record of mine like a first name, last name, mobile number, voter ID, PAN, other everything. Right. So in this now if I want to remove my driving license, I can remove that through the put method. Okay. So put is for update or replace the existing target on the resources. With by sending some payload, right? So in that, if I want to remove driving license, so I can remove that attribute and I can send that. So what will happen? It will override my old resource values and it will be restored as a new one. Okay, that is what the portrait is a replace. Okay, and when it is come to patch, so patch is also kind of partial replace or partial update or partial modification. So for example, now I have changed my mobile number. Okay, I'm not going to remove the mobile number. I'm just changing my mobile number. I want to do the update. So like we discussed in the last case, uh, like when you go for a supermarket, so you will be asking for the membership ID. So we'll do the update. So let, for example, now you have reached the uh, supermarket and you have made some purchase. So earlier, for example, the point was uh, given to us, uh, I mean, the credit points, right? So 200 points. So now again, you have made some changes. I mean, you have made some purchases. So they have to give additionally 200 points. So now they have to overwrite the 200 as a 400, right? The moment you, you go to the supermarket, they will be asking the mobile number or membership ID to retry your account. That is what the get method, okay? After the get, they will confirm you the name. Okay, this is what your name, yes. Okay, after that, they will update our only the points. Okay, they will not touch anything else like our first name, last name, email, address. Or, or delivery address or mobile app, nothing else. So they are just going to add additionally 200 points. So that will update us of 400 into their server. So that is what we are going to do in the patch. So put this replace if you want to remove something and if you want to additionally add something, you can do that. But when it is come to patch, you have partial update or partial modification to the resources. Okay. And there are possible status code, uh, the response status code, you will get it as a 200 or 202 or 204. Okay, so now we'll go to the request. So I'm just going to copy the same API endpoint. Okay, this is what our base URL, right? So local host tester. So let me copy this. Make sure your server is running JSON server, otherwise, nothing will work. Okay, the API endpoints will not work. So I'm just copy paste it. Okay, so in the request body, okay, let's take how many users we have in the list. Okay, we'll take this user. Okay, I want to modify something here, like a mobile number I want to change or some address I want to change. So this one is patch. Okay, I will go to the body, select raw, and this is a JSON payload. Okay, just click on the beautify button to beautify your JSON file, I mean JSON code. So now, if I send this, you will be getting as a 404 not one because we have to mention here for which resource you want to update, for which user you want to update. So now we are, let's try to update for the triple one user. Okay, so in the path resource, I'm going to give it as a triple one. Okay, so now let me change the name uh, or let me change the mobile number only. Okay, I'm not going to change anything. Okay, so let's change the mobile number like this. And from mobile, I will give, I mean, give it as a J meter. Okay, so address instead of Chennai, let me bank it as a fact. Okay, so now if I send this, it will not touch the remaining things. Okay, so it is going to update only the mobile number and the city name. You can see the city name updated and mobile also updated. Okay, so now if I send the same thing, I mean, this is what we have seen in the patch also, right? So if you go to the put, sorry, put. So here it is triple one ID. Okay, so this is what doing here also, correct? But the difference is, so for example, here, if I go to the patch and if I remove these things, like I want to remove the ID or name, okay, let me remove the name. 
Okay, so let me remove the address also. And let me remove this uh, J meter. Okay, skills also I will remove it. Okay, now I want to just update only mobile number with this value. Okay, so now just click on the beautify. So now if I send this, what happens in the put method? So it was completely replacing all the attributes. Then only this value, I mean, only this attribute is getting this stored in our resources, right? Which means for this particular user, only the mobile number will be stored in our resource. But in the pan, what it will happen, it will not touch the remaining things, okay? It will not touch the remaining attributes that we have already stored in the database, okay? So now it will go on the update only the patch. I mean, only the mobile number by using the patch. So now if I send this, you can see still in the response, you are getting the name, mobile number, everything, address also, right? So now let me copy the same payload. If I go to the put method and if I just replace them, now if I send what happens, no, the remaining things, right? The name, mobile number, I mean, the name, the skills, address, everything will be deleted because we are sending the new payload. Okay, so now this is for resource modification. Okay, this is not a partial modification. This is complete modification we are going to do. So now if I send this, you can see in the response, we are just getting only these things. Okay, so now if I go to the get method again, so we were getting this earlier, correct? So address, skills and all. So now if I send no, I could see only the mobile number is coming. Okay, so where is the triple one? Yeah, here you can see only the triple one is giving the mobile number. So let me put the triple one here. Okay, only mobile number because the put is what the put is doing now, it is kind of like a deleting everything and making as a new entry for the same user. But when it, when you send as a patch, it was not touching the existing attribute, it is going to update only the mobile number changes that you have done. Okay, so that is what I have told you earlier. So you have some database, right? So let us assume you have uh, your, your name, I mean, your details in some, some server. Okay. So first name, last name, mobile number, email address, uh, PAN card, other ID, some identificational uh, documents, okay? So if they want to remove something, okay, so you have other and PAN, now they want to remove the PAN. So what you can do, now, you can go to the put method and you can remove that completely. If at all, if you want to change the phone number or change the PAN number, then you have to go for a patch. So this is what happening, okay? So let me copy the request again. So when I use this in the patch, Okay, let me copy it in the put also. Okay, so in the patch, if you don't send anything, so for example, I'm deleting this. Okay, so only address I'm going to update. Okay, I'm just going to send it as only CP. Okay, so now what happens? It will not touch the remaining part. Okay, it will just update only the address. Okay, because already we have, okay. Because already we made the post, I mean, put method, that is the reason, okay. In the put, we'll create this entry again. Okay, so now it look like this. So now I'm going here, I'm going to change everything. So only address I want to maintain. So address I'm giving you some random name and here I'm making as to channel, okay. So now we have made the update on only the door number and the city, okay. So when I send this, it is going to update only those two values. One is door number and one is city. Okay, so this is what the patch, it will not disturb or it will not touch the remaining attribute that is already present in particular source. But when I copy paste the same thing, and if I go to the put method, if I use this, what happens? It will delete name, it will delete mobile number, it will delete the skills, it will store only the address. Okay, that is the put method. You can see everything is removed. So now if you go to get method, now you will see only the address details. You will not see anything else. That is what the put will do. So put is what? So patch is for the partial update or modification. So either you can change one or two attribute. But when it is come to put, it is a replacement. Okay, so we are replacing the existing, existing uh, resources. Replace, okay, that is a bad. So this is a replace for put and this is patch for update. So when you want to remove something, you can use a put. When you want to update something, you can go for a patch. Put is meant for replace and patch is for partial update or modification. Okay. The status code, uh, you might get 200, uh, you might get 204 or 202 also. 
Okay, most of the time you will be getting 200 and 204 in the patch method as well. Okay, so this is the difference between the put and the patch. Patch is for partial update, so it will not disturb or it will not uh, touch the existing resources. Okay, it will go and update only the changes that you want to make for the particular attribute. But when you're using the put, it will replace them. It will store as a new new record. I mean, not a new record, the kind of like a new entry, right? So because we are removing some of the attributes, okay, that's the reason. Okay, so this is what the difference between the put and the patch. So that's all about this video. In our, our next video, we'll see how to delete the record, how to delete the resources from our database. Okay, thank you guys.